this game includes mention depictions of kidnapping, murder, blood, drugging, cannibalism, child abuse, and addiction. Do you know what makes up a witch? They're a bit different from humans, although they often make their form look similar to them. Every witch is born from pure magic, more specifically a sort of magic nucleus. Almost like a pearl, more and more layers of magic build up until a witch can take form. During the witch's childhood, they will find their magic specialty. Here's the thing that most magically proficient in takes us energy for them to do that thing in the normal witch, you see? Magical energy, it isn't infinite. When the witch runs out of magic, they die. They got a big burst of energy themselves back into the universe. It's sort of like a cycle of life thing, you know? Of course, witches can share magical energy with just about anything. Food, drinks, clothes, accessories, you name it and it could probably give you a boost. But the problem with the witches is that we're all selfish. I mean, people will do whatever it takes to take, mm, takes to lengthen their lifespan, assume as much energy as possible. That's where I come in. The name's Inquiry. I'm a detective witch for the Council of Witches. Recently, I've been investigating a series of disappearances that I think are the work of a serial killer, maybe even a group of them. It's tough work interviewing families and friends for clues alone can be hard on the soul. Recent leads I've gotten end up leading me right into a corner too. But despite the chaos of the world I'm in, there's always one place I can depend on for a normalcy. Taking a breath in, I took a step forward through the doors to a sweet little shop called Cherry Pies Cafe. Once inside, I became engulfed in a feeling of warmth and belonging. That's just the effect this place has on you. The calming music provided the perfect, peaceful ambience for people to sit and enjoy a nice cup of coffee and slice the world's most delicious pie. The chairs were always nice, always clean. It was perhaps the only place I was able to actually relax during my free time. Oh, hi there, sugar pie. A little lady in the cherry, the cherry on top, quite literally. Okay. Her name is Cherry Pie. Cherry for short. She runs a cafe with an upbeat smile and a warm personality. When there was downtime in the cafe, she would often come over and talk to me with a cherry expression on her face and a slice of pie in her hands. Truly, this gal is something special. Morning, Cherry. Things being so late today. So, so we're doing a snail in the foot race. It's a relief to finally see a friendly face. Will you be having your usual slice of pie and coffee today? Yeah, you know me well. Yes, ma'am. Sign the usual payment over the countertop. Cherry made quick work at making my usual order. So how's work been treating you? Mm, not that great. Oh, is that the case not going well? Got dead straight into another dead end. Every time I think I'm a step closer to figuring out the truth, something pops up, puts me three steps back. Well now, that's no good at all. I'm awfully sorry, Inquiry. I know I'm no fancy detective at all, but I'm here if you need to let out your frustrations. You look so tired, you really shouldn't be overworking yourself like this, you know? Sheriff sure asked scolded me, pouring two cups of coffee just the way we both liked it. Hers sweet and full of creamer. Mine with hints of pumpkin spice and cinnamon. Oh, you worried about me, Cherry? Very much so. I don't know what I'd do without my favorite customer visiting me every day. She brought me over a tray full of goodies, set them down on the usual table in the corner, far away from all the other empty tables and chairs. Well, there's no need to worry. There's nothing in the world that could stop me from visiting you. No matter how tired the soul soul becomes. Is that a promise? Because if so, I'm holding you to it. It's a promise, Cherry Pie. Sorry, but you're stuck with me. You say that like it's a bad thing. I'm glad I'd be stuck with you any day. Uh, but anyways. Cherry took a long sip of her drink, pushing my cup towards me. What's been happening in your case? You don't mind me asking. 
I paused for a moment, staring at the pastry chef in front of me with a puzzled expression. Harry, you know I'm not supposed to share that's fine information. The council would kick my ass if I did. But, oh, I'm also curious. I can tell it's really stressing you out, sugar pie. It might be good to talk about it, even if it's in vague terms. Through my temples, I thought about everything I had witnessed, everything I had endured. Um. Everything I kept bottled up for so long. Fine, but I can't say much. No matter how much or how little, I'm always here to listen. I'm looking for someone, someone who did a lot of bad things. They planned a lot of false clues, a lot of things that were merely placed to waste my time, which it did. God, I'm really worthless detective. Now, now, don't say that. You got a brilliant mind, Inquiry. Thanks, Sherry. It's just... I think I must be related to some sort of group or organization. Everything feels so carefully planned out. Even the smallest things that could be thought of as a slip-up have been planned all along. There are quite a few underground groups to pray for witches. Those witches, they don't exactly follow the rules of the Council of Witches, you see. It took a long sip of my drink, my mind beginning to race anxiously with all of the possibilities. I see. The Everlasting was always well known for their attention to detail, so it wouldn't be surprising. Who did mention the Everlasting? Everlasting is a gang of sorts. Typically being high organized crime that often ends deadly. The group has been dodging the Council of Witches for centuries. There is no way, right? Sherry, what do you know? Keep my cool, I pretend not to hear her slip up, continuing on with the conversation. Indeed. Shit, I might be able to get some information out of her if I play my cards right. Though I'm honestly, I really didn't want to do any work right now. Here's the problem. Lemon Witch recently has gone missing. Supposed to say she was relatively young too. She disappeared last week after an outing in this very town. It's been troublesome narrowing down a place, however. There's a chance Cherry Pie could have had something to do with it. Ironic two fruit witches involved in the opposite side of a potentially deadly crime. Uh, any company customers lately? Oh, darling, you wouldn't believe it. Some people just don't know how to be polite. The other day, my little sis brought in one of her school friends. Little sister. Didn't know Sherry had a little sister. More importantly though, her sister may be the same age as the living witch. Could be possible that they know each other. I tried so hard to be nice, I really did. But this kid just has such a sour attitude. I know what you mean. These kids these days really all lighten up more. Exactly. Or at least don't get workers to doing their job a weird look and sash for no reason. Hmm, kid with some attitude. School is your sister in. Oh, she got something into the lottery for Incarnation Academy not too long ago. Really now? Yeah, that's funny. Live right by that school. Really? Well then maybe I should visit you before picking her up someday. I like taking my line actually. I'm gonna go to that school. Too many coincidences. Coincidences. Yeah, did you hear what the Everlasting did yesterday? We'll go with that. Huh? What did they do? Some jackass came to be the Everlasting try to one of the council members. This wasn't true at all, actually. I just wanted to see if Cherry would have any sort of a strong, strange reaction. Call it a hunch, I suppose. Sherry, not feeling disappointed, looked like she was about to choke on her own drink. Really? You gotta be kidding. To do something like that? Took a deep breath in. This is horrible, awful. Did anyone get hurt? Thankfully, no. They are prison the sucker behind it, though. Cherry looked like she was about to say something, but quickly closed her mouth. 
I picked up on one thing while Sherry is that she wasn't much for hesitating. Something about here. Something here is obviously wrong. I'm just talking to Sherry felt like the world's most casual inter interrogation. I was finding out a lot of things, things that added up, things that made me even more made me have even more questions. Luckily I have the time necessarily to get a bit more information out of her. You're fine, you haven't touched your slice yet. Something the matter? Sherry look concerned, shit. Can't have her catch on to me. I laughed at all, telling her I just enjoyed her company so much I had forgotten to eat. Meanwhile, I'm grabbing my pork to eat some good old pie. Took a bite, sherry flavor filling with my very senses. This doesn't taste like a normal pie. Did you try a new recipe out for your pies? Eh, you can say that. Staring to feel strange, dizzy, discombobulated even. No, I wasn't beginning to grow drowsier and drowsier. By the moment. Y you didn't. She did. She did. Oh. That's insane. It's a waffle saw. Okay. My head was pounding the second I regained consciousness. Before I could even try and get these old muscles to move, I realized I was tightly wrapped in some sort of rope. No. Could these be vines? Oh, uh, there you are. Turning my head, I was greeted by the face of the grind captor. I could tell something was a bit off about Sherry Pie, but I didn't want to say nothing. The instinct was to use defensive magic, several blast energy to push her away from me. The second I tried, nothing happened. Not even a speck of sparkles, dust, or any of that crap. You, what did you do to me? Oh, nothing serious, I promise. I just slipped something in your pie. If you have been working on a magic blocker, they say it's stronger than the ones you constantly went to folk use. A pinch of that, a little bit of tranquilizers, and a lot of sugar and cherries to hide it all. Mix it all up and ta-da! Hey, you right where I want you. You gonna kill me? Oh golly, no, of course not. I just wanted to have a little chat, that's all. What about about how you're killing witches. You're a part of the everlasting, aren't you? Uh, don't look at me like that. Really not so bad. They're criminals, cherry pie. Killers. Thieves. And now it seems you are too. And you're worth her inquiry. And after everything I've done to try and save you too. No, no, I gotta have patience. Soon you'll understand. Soon we'll be together and happy for all of eternity. What? You've always been my favorite customer in Quarry. Being in my little friend group, it's necess necessary for me. A life of chaos and torment with no end is just my fate in this world, I'm afraid. But you were always kind, always warned to me. Whenever you came in, that life I once had paused. I was able to be a number of witch, just a cute little cafe owner, flirting with a lovely lady. Baking pies makes people smile. With you, I finally feel I can live the life of my dreams. I can't wait for you to come by only on your breaks anymore. I won't be able to call this place your home. I won't be able to call myself your wife one day. Make you coffee every morning. That's the way you like it. Give you kisses every night. Together we can be the perfect picture. That's gay couple. Living a happy normal life. That's all I want. Do you tie up and drug everyone you ask out on dates, Cherry Pie? Oh no, you're the first, the only. My one and only. This girl has actually lost her mind. Look, I'm never flattered, but... But? There's a lot of fear in her eyes before I can even finish my sentence. Her eyes began twitching as I took my next breath. I really should be careful with my words here. I'm sure you're wonderful, but your workplace and my workplace just clashes a lot, you know? Look, just let me out of here and we can chat about this more. And I'm sure you'll find that they don't clash as much as you think. For an organization that claims to care so much about life, nothing was really done until your little inventor witch friend went missing, huh? 
What about the spider witch? The lily pad witch? I don't care when they disappeared. Not one of you was sent out to look for them. The council of witches only cared about those specialties they deemed important. If you find the others along the way, it's just bonus points. You are all just as indifferent to the death of others as I am. A ringing noise can be heard from another room. Oh, another customer is here. Are you back surely? Okay, my darling. You have more time to think it over. Sheriff asked about the door. Click the noise behind her indicated she had locked it. Using the opportunity to place in front of me, I started to try and bend and break the vines. Holding my wrist captive, twisting them off, but it's a struggle, I'll admit, but nothing I haven't dealt with before. Once my hands were free, my next move was to cut the rest of the vines off using the knife in my... Damn it, Sherry took all of my belongings out of my pockets. My communicator was in there along with my other tools, so much for being able to call help. I had to find out where she put them before I'm making... Well, able to make my escape. I quickly waited out on the rest of the vines to be able to get a better look at the room. So it wasn't near sight. But there's something in here that could help unlock the door. The most I catch thing in this room by far had been the operating table. Disgusting mess of blood smeared over it proved to show how sloppy Sherry was with her work. So it's true, all of which really did die by Sherry's hands. I thought they went peacefully. Poor souls. I've seen one of these before. Magic cooling shelves. Sherry must be using them to keep the body parts cold. To clean off the blood. Wonder why. Here as I step closer to observe this number thing. It's a doll. I have such a gruesome doll on a cooling show. There has to be something in there that can help me escape. From the through the tool, the cleaning products, I find what looked to be a pale arm at the bottom of the box. Once I managed to drag the arm out of the box, it appeared to see the arm was a fake, plastic, most likely some sort of mannequin prop. Bloody Pride theme circular saw? Yikes. Giant chest in the room caught my eye. I'm not sure what it could be in there, but it's worth a shot checking. Some sort of legs? Neatly dressed, life-size doll legs. Interesting. I have a pair of a doll arm, a pair of doll legs. Maybe something will happen if I put them in place. Yeah. I'm placing the doll limbs in the correct place, a strange noise rang through the room. Some one left, I suppose. The quick swift movements and I unlock the door. The sooner I get out of here, the better. I in the nightmare of a room, immediately someone to a kitchen of sorts. It must be where Cherry makes her pies and other assorted baked goods. The eerie silence in the room contributed with the atmosphere of impending doom. Listening closer, I realized it wasn't nearly. Well, it wasn't entirely silent. I heard faint feminine crying sounds coming from somewhere in the room. It almost sounds like a child. Investigate. Some of the trapped in here, I have to help them. Crying is coming from inside the oven. Hello, someone in there? Do you need help? Obviously. I heard a shaking voice be back to me. Please, let me out of here. I'm scared. <laughs> <clears throat> Damn it, there's some sort of block on this oven. Don't worry, miss. I'll get you out of there. Thank you. The poor thing. I better find the key to this fast. Must be somewhere in this room. Cook look with a variety of enchanted desserts. It's like Cherry rolled in most of the recipes herself. The further I looked into the cookbook, the more morbid the recipes became. Decided to close the book. Something glistening inside of the vent. I quickly crawled on top of the counter at the top in order to try and get a better peek. Looked like a metal key ring with a key attached to it. 
could be what I need to get that kid out of there, but it's just out of reach. Of course it is. Even if the apron hung up neatly, I could sense something strange about it. I picked up the white cloth and stuffed it closer, noticing that it was heavier than I thought. Mm, I dug through the pockets, finding an odd magnet of sorts. Strange, why would there be a magnet in here? I made a hand, I crawled, I could on top of the counter. Once placed nearby the vent, I heard the metal slide of the key ring, dragging the key closer towards me. Nice, got the keys. Open up the oven, I saw what I feared. Small witch shoved aside, crying her tiny eyes out. Reached a hand out to her, which hesitantly took and pulled her out of the oven. Thank you. She appeared nervous, which is surprising. She was incredibly young. Besides being in a situation with a the situation would have anyone fearful and weary. But now I think about it, I recall Cherry mentioning him with a sister around her age. This couldn't be her, could it? You're welcome. Do you have a name? Well we should do all of the what's your name? What's my name? Then or not when we are out, because she could come back at any minute. Uh, my name is Strawberry. I just got it. Witches weren't always worn with the names they currently use. Although when a witch gains their specialty, they change their name to match it. It's not always the case with which will change their name, but it's the most common thing nowadays. <laughs> Strawberry Witch, I see. Congrats on getting such a sweet specialty. It's nice to meet you, Strawberry. My name is Inquiry. The Council of Witches. How'd you get down here? I'm my sister. Uh, Sherry Pye, your sister? Yeah, she's my big sister. I'm not actually supposed to be here. We were hearing strange noises from upstairs. Sister told me never to go down here. But I thought she was struggling with something. I only wanted to help, so I went down and found her in, in the kitchen. Strawberry. Sherry, what's happening? I told you not to come down here, sweetie. Go back upstairs, okay? I'm in the middle of something very important. Cherry? Um, Cherry didn't seem like herself. She, she was saying nice things, but she looked so scary. I just froze. She was all twitchy. Twitchy and giggly. And I don't know how to explain it. Hey, time to go upstairs now. I have important business to attend to. These pies don't make themselves, do they? But you smell like blood. Are you hurt? Strawberry, upstairs. I don't get it. Why do you smell like blood if you're not hurt? She laughed, a creepy laugh that I never heard before. So scary. And then she grabbed me with a whisper and whispered, Feel like us were meant to be eating. Strawberry, I'm still being rearranged in the circle of life. I'm sorry, I'll go back upstairs. Everything is important to me. That was when she locked me in the oven. Please let me out. I just wanted to help. I don't like it in here. I promise all will make sense soon, Strawberry. I kept crying out for help and nothing happened. Until you helped me. Poor girl. Sherry has lost her mind. She's no longer aware of the severity of her actions. I need to get this child out to safety as quickly as possible. Thank goodness the oven was off. I see. You're awfully brave, Strawberry. No need to worry anymore, alright? I'll get you out of here and make sure you're safe. Give her a warm smile and extend in my hand in hopes to cheer up Cherry. Not Cherry, but Strawberry. Okay, thank you very much, miss. She squeezed onto my hand, taking a deep breath in, and decided to move onwards to the next room. Kitty Kitty must be here somewhere. Hmm. Walking through a door leading out the kitchen, we found ourselves in what looked like a cherry themed waiting room. Oh, isn't it? That cherry lemonade? Strawberry's eyes lit up with excitement as she rushed towards the drink dispenser. Strawberry, wait. We don't know for sure what's in that. Could be poison. I put a hand on her shoulder, which seemed to stop the girl from getting a drink. Sad sight to see the child frowning up, up at me, but better safe than sorry. Suspicion grew in my mind as my eyes scanned the room. It was more pleasing to the eye compared to the last two rooms on the counter. I doubt this room was that innocent, though. If you use your investigation skills to see if the lemonade is safe, 
and you let me know. Mr. Quarry, I'm thirsty. Investigation skills, huh? If only my magic actually worked right now. You would have been out of here already. How about after we get out of here, I'll get you a big glass of whatever drink you would like, alright? You just gotta hang in there a little while longer. Really? Do you mean it, Mr. Quarry? Mm, of course I do. Unless, of course, you don't want anything. I want something. I want a big glass of lemonade. Ooh, or a milkshake with whipped cream and sprinkles. <sighs> Mary Sherry won. I already stopped talking this in a tense silence filled the air. Sorry, what's gonna happen to Sherry? Is she gonna be okay? For heart's sake, I do feel bad for this girl. She's going through so much all at once. She's gonna be okay, kiddo. There's no need to worry. Why oh, is she acting so weird? I don't know, but I promise we'll do our best to figure out why. Okay. Just as fast as the dark and her mood demeanor brightened up again. What a strange little girl. Keeping it close on our strawberry, I began to search the room myself. Alright. Uh, that lamp has something to do with it? Nah, uh, let the show enough for it. That drawer is, though. Doors has some pen and paper stashed aside. Nothing of use. Okay. Put that painting. Peel painting is someone holding a cherry. Try taking it off the wall, but the damn thing wouldn't budge. There's nothing useful here. Um, mirror? Magic mirror on the wall. Who's the cutest of them all? Sure, I seem to be distracted by the mirror. Leap or be for now and investigate it after. Approached the door with caution to see if it was unlocked. The second my hand touched the knob, however, I heard a familiar sound coming from the mirror. Where is Sherry Pie? Oh. Sherry? This is a premier message that goes off with an unauthorized person that sits in this room. See, little Me Pie, you're not supposed to escape. Me Pie? And on the off chance that you are authorized and this was triggered by mistake. Oopsies, if you know me well, count all the things you love about me. Hee <laughs> hee. To the me pie. Don't worry, you're going to be a part of the everlasting. Suddenly two large metallic arms rolled roll from a hole where the mirror once was. Yeah, snatched strawberry. Shit, this is bad. Hey, go me, please. I want to be a meat pie. So very hang on, I'm gonna get you out of here. This is insane. My well, head arms are squeezing the strawberry tighter and tighter. It's bad. I found a way to disable the trap fast. Also that cherry said at the end has to be a clue for another everlasting memory. Cherry's cool, man. Oh, what? Strawberry pie ending two of six. Oh no! We gotta, we gotta, we gotta, we gotta try it again. Right back. We'll be right back. <laughs> All right, so we are back. Um, I believe I know what the answer to the puzzle is. I have an idea. I had to go to the page, check the comments, but um. I believe I know what the answer is. So, it's just you count the uh, number of cherries that are in the room. And. No. 
that's uh that's not it so we'll come back and we'll try one more time if not then of course yeah i have to end the here because yeah all right we're gonna try one more time one more time what the answer is to this puzzle and I'm not really good when it comes to puzzles unfortunately um but this is cherry witch got yeah, ending two of six unfortunately so if you want to play this game for yourself and get the other um five endings of course everything for this game will be in the description below if you want to check it out play it for yourself if you want to if not that's totally fine but um yeah I'm kind of stumped on this at the moment so if anyone as the answer to that puzzle, of course, don't hesitate to comment if you want to, and maybe I can play at a later date and get the rest of the endings. If not, that's totally fine. But I'm going to end it here. I do enjoy this game. It is nice. I do like games where it's like characters are cute, they seem innocent, and you're like, ooh, it's 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 fun. It doesn't get old at all. It really doesn't. So. If you enjoyed this video, of course, don't hesitate to like, share, comment, subscribe, all that fun stuff. If you have the answer to this puzzle, don't hesitate to comment that as well so I can, you know, figure out how this game actually ends. Um, still, I, I still enjoyed it, the playthrough of it, so even if I don't have the ending, I still enjoyed the experience. So, um, I'm going to end it here. So, hopefully y'all had a good day, a good yesterday, and better tomorrow, and I will catch y'all in the next video.